Hi, I'm Kevin Hartley and welcome to Kevin Hartley Photography. Uh, today uh, I'm up in the Peak District in Derbyshire in England and I'm hoping to go and find a dipper and photograph it. Growing up as a small boy in Scotland, one of my greatest hobbies was fishing. I spent a lot of time on local streams and rivers and dippers have been one of my favourite birds ever since. So let's go. Okay, what I want to do in this video is introduce you to the dipper. Then I want to go through what I consider to be my top five tips on how to photograph dippers. We'll look at the dipper itself, we'll look at where to find them, how to find them and the signs to look out for, how to approach dippers and then finally and hopefully get pictures like these. Okay, what I want to do now is introduce you to the Dipper. Um, the Dipper is a unique British songbird and as much as that, it is the only songbird in the UK that can dive and swim underwater. Dippers, uh, if you know what a wren looks like, very short tail, stubby body, but a dipper is about the size of a thrush but has the outline of a wren. Uh, the Dipper is mainly chocolate brown in colour and it has a white throat and a white chest and a chestnut brown tone underneath the whiteness of the chest. The dipper is one of our smallest aquatic um, birds in the UK. It's the only aquatic songbird, songbird in the UK. Um, normally around about January, February time they'll start pairing up and you'll hear the, the male dipper uh, with his call um, trying to attract the females. What do dippers eat? Well, dippers have a fascinating way of going about um, getting their food. Um, your, the way to, to, to follow them is you, you often see the dipper come down, land on a rock, and then it bobs up and down. That kind of where it gets its name from, the dipper. Um, that's seen as a form of communication between dippers. Uh, they will then stick the head underwater um, to look for food and one thing that a dipper that's unique about a dipper, it has a second eyelid, um, which is white in colour, and I'll show you a picture of that here now. So the dipper will put its head under the water, and it's looking for things like caddis fly nymphs, mayfly nymphs, and, and small fish. And I'll just show you this this clip here of uh, a dipper actually um, foraging for food. Tip number five on how to photograph dippers is about research. Like any other wildlife subject, um, if you want to get anywhere near it to get good photographs, then you need to know as much as you can about the subject itself. Um, I always look at things like the RSPB website for information on birds, and I'm sure everybody's aware of YouTube, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. Um, both great places to get the information that you need and get to know your subject on the dipper. Tip number four on how to photograph dippers is how to identify a dipper's location. This is typical of the habitat that you'll find dippers in the UK. They prefer fast flowing shallow streams or rivers uh, with plenty of boulders and bits of timber that you can see lying in the water for them to land on. Uh, that's often the, the best opportunity you'll get to get good pictures of dippers. Tip number three on how to photograph dippers is learn to identify dipper signs. When we're looking for signs of dippers, uh, one of the 
best indicators is to find markings on stones like they, this uh, and here we can see some droppings that have been made by birds and the very high likelihood is because I, I know this river um, and what it's like and I know that there's dippers here this is a place where a dipper has rested so this would be a place that if you're looking to get a photograph it's maybe set up to set up at the side and wait for the dippers to come to you okay what I want to do now is just quickly go through um, the kit that I'll use for when I'm out photographing dippers obviously first thing foremost camera and lens I shoot with a Nikon D850 uh, uh, this is a 500mm prime lens I would recommend that you should be using lenses in the range from about 300 to 500 millimeter um, for photographing dippers. Other essential piece of kit is a roll mat for placing on the ground, obviously wet conditions, keep you dry, keep you insulated in, in cold weather. And finally, a good pair of Wellington boots, um, which you need for, for shallow rivers. The other thing that I would recommend that you use um, on ground like this is to use a bean bag or a rucksack to place on the ground to support your camera when you're getting down to, to eye level and we'll cover that um, later in, in, in our top tips. Tip number two and how to photograph dippers is to let the dipper move towards you. It's important to understand uh, the, the dipper's habitat which we, we, is exactly what this is fast flowing low streams or rivers um, dippers territory is all dependent on the, the quantity of food and the number of dippers in the water and a dippers territory can range from anything from 300 meters in length up to two and a half kilometers uh, once you find a good population of dippers um, the best thing that you can do is to, to find a position look for the signs that we covered earlier on get yourself in position and wait for the dippers to come to you here we can see a stone which I've identified it um, has got droppings on and I've set myself down in a position and waited for the dipper to turn up. Okay, what I want to talk about now is uh, what camera settings I use when I'm photographing dippers. I always shoot in manual and I always shoot in raw. Uh, that allows me complete control uh, during my post-processing editing of my photographs. Uh, settings themselves, uh, you're looking at exposure settings starting off with at least uh, a minimum shutter speed of about one thousandth of a second. Um, dippers by their nature and the way that they bob up and down, they're constantly moving. So you need a relatively high shutter speed for, even for the static dipper bird itself. Um, obviously if the bird's in flight then you're looking at 3000 um, plus for a dipper, they're very fast. Um, very similar to, to the way that kingfishers operate in that actually with kingfishers you'll see a blue flash as it goes past you. Dippers, uh, because of the colour, um, they're pretty difficult to, to pick out on, on the water and, and they're, they're, they're very fast. You, you'll hear them before you see them. Um, so minimum shutter speed of one thousandth of a second. You're looking at an aperture of about f.8 maximum I would suggest uh, and finally I always shoot on auto ISO so exposure settings 1000th of a second f.8 and auto ISO tip number one on how to photograph dippers is to get down low at dipper eye level okay tip number one on how to photograph dippers is to get down to the dippers eye level at water level and um, affords you the best opportunity to get great pictures like this. The aim being to try and blur out the background. By getting down to eye level what you can do is make sure your depth of field is such that the, black, the background is out of focus and the foreground is slightly out of focus but your bird which sits in your depth of field is sharp for a good photograph. So tip number one, get down to the dipper's eye level, level with the water. Okay, finally what I'd like to do is to leave you with some of my favourite images of dippers 
which I've actually taken during the, the filming of this video. So I hope you enjoy them. Thanks for watching Kevin Hartley Photography and How to Photograph Dippers. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have um, filming it. It's certainly taken me back to my, my schoolboy days up in Scotland when I used to fish on the small rivers and streams and uh, I saw dippers quite often. Uh, as I said, one of my favourite birds. Um, all I would ask is that if you've liked this, could I ask you to hit the like button? If you'd like to see more of this, could I ask you to subscribe to my channel, Kevin Hartley Photography? doesn't cost anything, it's completely free and it just gives me that incentive to come out to beautiful places like this, the River Dove and Dovedale in the Peak District in England. So until the next time, stay safe, take care and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.